Hi everyone, welcome back to part 5 of the Book One Cozy's Club chapter by chapter for Raining Men and Corpses, the first book in the Reign of Sun mystery series by Anne R. Tan. I'm Di and this is my audio only reading vlog for this book. Today I will be reading chapters 17 through 20 and sharing my thoughts with you along the way. Due to the nature of this reading vlog, there will be spoilers. So if you haven't read these chapters yet, I suggest that you not listen to this recording until you have. If you would prefer to hear my general thoughts on this book in its entirety, keep an eye out for my Book One Cozy's Club Series First Impressions video, which will be posted sometime after the reading vlogs for this book have commenced. So how is everybody doing this evening? I say evening. It is 3 o'clock in the morning for me as I am recording this for you. I got a little bit sidetracked watching TBR games on YouTube. I think it's going to be something that I try for April. I'm not a TBR type of person, but since last year, 2020, my reading has gone way down. I am very much a mood reader. Which is why I have stepped away from doing TBRs. I used to do them when I first started my channel. Uh, because that was the big thing uh, to do when you started a channel was do TBRs. But I got away from that because they just weren't working for me. And being a mood reader such as I am, having to stick to a TBR was not the right thing for me because a lot of times the things that I chose at the beginning of the month I just didn't end up wanting to read. Choosing books to read for myself hasn't been such a hard thing in the past. I always kind of knew what I wanted to read from book to book to book but since last year I've had a very difficult time choosing something to read. I have this like feeling of wanting to read all the things, but obviously I can't. And then because I can't decide on what I want to read, because I'm a very indecisive person by nature, that made it even more difficult. And so I ended up choosing not to read. <laughs> Hence my number of books read going down. So I had found some TBR game videos that showed up on my feed in YouTube and I decided to check some of those out this weekend and I've just been addicted to watching them. And so now I'm thinking of maybe trying to come up with one of my own just for myself um, using elements from a few other booktubers TBR games and seeing how that will work for me in April because obviously can't do that for March because of uh, March Mystery Madness. I have already picked my TBR for that. You will probably be seeing it sometime soon. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But yeah, so since I was distracted by TBR game videos, that has led me to not picking up my book to read and recording this snippet for you until 3 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. Anyway, obviously I'm still very much awake, so that's not going to be a problem, but I am going to dive into chapter 17 shortly. I am looking forward to getting more into this book. And yeah, so let me get to chapter 17 and I will be back with you in a bit. So I just finished chapter 18. I have a few choice words for Eden. I don't know what she is thinking dating Saul in the circumstances that she says that their relationship started in. It just doesn't seem normal to me that you go over to confront a guy about blackmailing your quote-unquote best friend for a date and then you end up dating him. 
not even a while after, but shortly after that, there's something wrong with that picture. While I think that Reyna's confrontation of Eden was very over the top in the aggression department, I don't feel like she was wrong in saying the things that she did. Now, we can talk about how the way she brought it up in front of her grandmother was disrespectful, but at the same time, I don't find anything that Reyna said to Eden to be untrue. Now, going back to the attack at Holden's place, Saul is planning on pressing charges against Reyna. I really want to know what he looks like after that confrontation because from the descriptions of Reyna after the attack, I'm sure there's more than enough evidence to say otherwise. But even so, did Saul have a key to the place? Reyna did, so if anybody was breaking in, wouldn't it be Saul? In addition to that, we got a lovely visit from Officer Hopper again. Really, really don't like that character. She obviously has it out for Reyna. She's obviously being unprofessional about it because it is showing in every encounter that they have. Especially with the fact that she would not let the EMTs look at Reyna. Even though Reyna was bleeding and bruised and busted, she still interrogated her for an hour before allowing Reyna to be looked at by an EMT, which is just not right. I am finding it interesting about the information we're receiving about uh, Holden's quote-unquote son, who we now know is not his son. I don't understand how Cora and her family thought it was acceptable to just keep taking money from him when they knew, or at least Cora knew, that Holden wasn't the father. Just a lot of things that I feel are not right came up in these two chapters. But at the same time, we're getting a lot of good information on Holden's case so I'm looking forward to finding out even more. I'm going to dig into chapter 19 right now and I'll be back with you in a bit. So I just finished chapter 20. Oh, this officer Hopper is really on my last nerve. I don't know what she thinks she is entitled to by doing all of this stuff. And again, Saul goes about getting what he wants the wrong way. I mean, you don't just tell somebody that you're going to press charges against them just because you want to talk to them. It couldn't wait 48 hours. I think that's how long he was going to be in prison for. I mean, getting that message to Reyna about finding those spiral notebooks wasn't a life or death situation. So obviously I'm not very impressed with him either. But I also haven't been pretty much the entirety of this book. This whole misunderstanding between Reyna and Matthew though is getting a bit old. Um, I'm glad that she finally gave him an ultimatum at the park. I think that's where they were. Um, while having donuts that morning, but then he goes and gets mad at her about the fake pregnancy that he overheard about and doesn't even like accept when she's trying to, you know, tell him exactly what happened. And again, I feel like, you know, Reyna didn't intend on the message that Holden received about being late to be what it was. I mean, she really was just trying to tell him that her bills were late. But 
she wasn't able to get out her entire sentence before he jumped to a conclusion. So, yeah, I was very disappointed with the way Matthew handled himself after that. Again, I don't understand. And then going back to Saul, again, I don't understand what Eden is thinking. Getting into a relationship with somebody who lies. I mean, he lied to get Rainer to come talk to him. Then he blackmailed her for a date. Plus, he was super persistent before that about trying to get a date. I don't know what Eden would be getting out of the relationship besides benefits. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. And then for Eden to be so gung-ho about, you know, calling Officer Hopper and asking her to help. And then she doesn't even show up. To help Reyna talk to Saul. Or to help Reyna not be in the predicament she ended up being in with Officer Hopper. And her unprofessional antics. So, yeah. I'm kind of... You already know how much I really dislike Officer Hopper. I'm hoping that by the end of this book, everything between Reyna and Matthew will be ironed out. The lines will be clear and Officer Hopper will not have any leg to stand on in regards to the way she treats Reyna because she's trying to get with Matthew. But that remains to be seen. We have two sections left of this book. I am still really enjoying the puzzle pieces that we're getting about what happened with Holden and what he was doing. I'm just not enjoying so much the relationship stuff. That is all getting really messy for me and a lot of it is getting really irritating. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. But anyway, that's all I've got to say for these four chapters. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I will be back with you tomorrow for chapters 21 through 24, and I hope you all have a great rest of your evening. Talk to you later. Bye.